Okay, going around the board another time. This third round it just ended. And what's happened? Well, the first couple players had very little to do, and they actually did hauling ore operations to increase the stock values of their mines. Uh, the third player over here threw some money into the Las Vegas and Tonopah Railway. Uh, basically, the only thing left he could afford to buy. And because he only has like a thousand, a couple thousand bucks left, it was the cheapest thing there. And there's no other track available or no other shares available that are at the cheaper end. So he bought that. That gave this enough money for it to do something. But then the guy with the Silver Peak committed his evil against uh, Green and drove Green's price way down and ended up improving uh, both the Red Railway and the Red Mine by connecting that up. And then the Blue Company, with this newfound uh, excess of cash, was able to hook up, uh, what is this, the gold fields, and grab that, putting, uh, putting Black back some distance there. Now, Black is still insolvent right now with all those uh, loans on her, but that big advantage has dropped away a bit. And Blue has gotten itself into a position where he's got, uh, he actually bonused the orange company, the orange mining company, which is held by the same player who held Black Railroad. So he sort of got a mixture there. Orange is now the leading uh, solvent or semi-solvent thing out there, uh, that, that uh, mine, the Goldfields mine. Now... Blue has enough tokens to reach either purple or maybe something else. Um, it would be really expensive to shoot down. He would have loved to have spent all that money and chugged his way down here, but he's got two shares of that train company. He doesn't want to use up whatever its value is. So he's been kind of chugging its value up as well as maybe getting closer to grabbing some more value away from black. That'll turn some value over to purple, but that's okay. He's, you know, trying to balance this out. And he doesn't really see that uh, the guy holding all the purple shares as a tremendous threat. And that's only two spaces away. He could even get to this, bit, to this town and take some more money from black there. Which would be a big bonus. Um, so now we're going to go into that kind of administrative segment, which again, it really disturbs me that this, oh, there it is. There it is. Cool. I thought it wasn't on this a very crowded ink, uh, player aid form. Um, but here it is. Let's see what developing the mines does because now we're getting into the dig deep counters. And these are going to have kind of odd effects. So this guy makes five. And that's this blue company here. Goes up to 83, but there's a problem. He has to give two dig deep counters back to the bottom of the pool. And then there's sort of a discard pile for dig deeps, which I'll put over here. It's unlikely I'm going to need to reshuffle that pile. That means that this company um, is going to go bankrupt. Not bankrupt, but the mines are going to end. So he's going to pay out all the dividends, but his, sh his share value is worthless at this point. And a number of people bought shares of this. And they're just not going to get their money back because they're only going to get one third of that value. Everybody who bought all these mining companies late in the game thought they're going to get money off of them. Well, obviously, they can end pretty quickly, yeah? Okay. And it's interesting because uh, one of the guys from, uh, I think, a California group that likes to play a lot of the rail games, XX games, um, the winsome games, mentioned that this would be an interesting game with all these tiles face up. Well, if they were, nobody would have made that mistake. This thing would have, you know, not been a bone for anyone. It would just be sitting there, and people would be looking at it and saying, okay, it, it, it's good for a short run thing, but it's not something you're going to win the game with, and they would have perhaps avoided that company early in the game. For better or worse, it would be a different game if you had all that information. I don't think it would be as interesting a game because I like the random element, but it certainly would allow for uh, a lot more open strategy. For me, it would just 
completely give me analysis paralysis. All right, let's go to the next one, the Manhattan Company. And this was recently fought over. And this one also gets a big eight buck increase. If I can find it, I believe that's this one. It can't go up and loses two markers. So it too is going under. And you know, as soon as you hit these dig deeps, it starts looking like, hey, it's game over, man. I didn't realize that. I thought somebody's gonna have to go over a hundred with all those counters up there. I knew there were minus twos, but damn, we're seeing two companies go under right away. All right, let's go to the bullfrog. Let's see how that goes. Okay, that gets a minus three to its income. But its tile doesn't affect uh, the order of anything. Let's go to the next one, Silver Peak. Ooh, they got a one. And they got two Dig Deep markers added to their pile. And it doesn't really matter where these go. They haven't been seen before. It's all shuffled, etc. Um, I think they're supposed to go on the bottom of this as well, though. I'm not sure. Okay. And let's take a look at the gold center. And that one also gets a bonus dig deep marker where it gets its value go up. And it only gets one counter. But still, we're seeing things kind of improving. And here's one issue with that uh, the idea of open tiles for this. If that was used, it would be kind of weird because everything would be relative to the banker. So you would know the tile, like companies in certain people's hands might be okay, maybe? Uh, they might be different. You'd see what they're drawing and putting on their pile. It, it would be a very, very weird game to add that. So I, I just don't think the game's designed to have it that simply. There may be something else to change to that kind of openness. I, just wouldn't like it, I know that. And this next one, wow, that's big. Plus five for Tanopa. Now, does it have enough links? It can only go up three. One, two, three. It's blocked, but it does get an extra deep, dig deep. That would have been great if it hadn't been already frozen on its income. And now up here, one last company, the gold field. It goes up six, but loses one marker. That's the orange guy, and he's threatening to close out next turn, which would mean he wouldn't be able to end the game because he wouldn't be, you know, even if he goes over 100, he won't be able to end it. But here's the thing. If he pays out dividends, one, two, three, four, five, it's game over. That's a decision he has to make, and it's going to be based basically on can he, can he make the money off uh, his railroad. Can he keep his railroad alive? He's got the choice to close the to close the game out if he can pay off all those loans. I don't think he can. All right, let me go back uh, and do the other stuff, the collecting income, paying interest and all, and I'll come back very briefly to discuss what ended up happening, unless the game ends, in which case I'll come back a little less briefly. So coming back, we see a very different situation. First of all, there are companies clear now. This guy has nothing except his green railroad. And I was wrong about it being solvent. It had $150,000 of loans kind of hiding the way Black did. Um, they just, I don't know, these certificates don't stand out to me correctly. They're not, uh, they're just not working for me and I'm not noticing what's going on. And I thought green had to be knocked back. Well, they really didn't. Uh, we see the companies that dissolved, and that's just the two. Um, their shares have been removed from, from play. Uh, no, this one too. And the table is much, much clearer. Now, some of those weren't such a terrible loss, which is to say, this guy pulled in quite a bit of money because there had been only one certificate for a long time producing, which means two thirds of the income was getting recycled regularly. So a lot of the money was still there. They weren't necessarily up bad. Actually, it had two certificates recently. But if something had a lot of cash on it before the turn, it would pay out better than just its cash value. So there may be an opportunity lost there, but 
it wasn't as harsh as maybe it seemed paying huge values for something that disappeared. And speaking of which, we're going to take the token off for them too. See the railroad stocks, again, because of uh, not being able to pay out dividends, continuing to sink. Black is still above 100, but he's got a couple of, sh uh, a couple of uh, bonds on him. He can't go over. He had to make sure that he didn't shoot this over. Why? Well, he thinks he's got, he thinks he's golden if he can uh, get that black company solvent. Uh, he just, he'll have two shares above 100. But right now, he doesn't have that. Uh, and he's made less money than some other people, so it may have been better to close it out and take his big share. Hard to tell, because he's also got some pretty questionable shares down here. Now, this isn't going anywhere. It's going to go to 50 max. Uh, oh, no, this is the railway. Yeah, no, the railway can go up uh, a bit higher. So he's got two shares of the railway, which can climb. It's going to be a tough sell for it to climb. It's still not solvent. It's falling. But it should be able to probably, I hope, make its money back. It's hard to tell. It only makes half that money each turn, and then it's paying interest, and it's got a huge loan to pay off. Of course, he's just throwing that away. He'd be throwing everything away except one certificate worth $100. He doesn't think that'll win. Now, everything's supposed to be open, so he should be able to calculate and count over everybody's money and say, oh, could I win, could I not? I hate playing that way. Um, I'm just not willing to go through that kind of effort. All right, so we're going to go to another turn, that means, and we've got to select positions again. Is this going to be the last one? It's hard to tell. It really is, because there's two things that could happen. One, yeah, the deep digs are coming out, but this company, these companies actually have additional t tokens on them, as does the Tanopa, and it could go longer than just one turn. There's other companies that are going to fall. This one looks pretty likely to go under. This one looks moderately likely to go under. So there's things that are much more questionable, but some of these shares, the yellow share here uh, in particular, look like they're of value. Railways, if you put money into a railway, it's probably going to break even, but here's the thing, unless you already have shares in it, you're bailing someone else's ass out. And that may not be the wisest move. If it's your own money though, hell, might as well. Um, you can get a big benefit off of saving your shares, as it were, with that cash, probably. So I think that's what we're going to see the people with railways, as we did before with the Tonopa uh, Tidewater, that people are going to try to keep their investments afloat by pushing money into them. It's much harder with these, you know, what do you do with something like this? If you sell it, you're probably not going to get anywhere near its current value. But if you hold on to it, it swallowed this turn in order to keep, uh, in order to keep from breaking 100. <sighs> Damn. Had he paid out, now here's the problem. He only has one certificate, so he'd only get a third of the cash on it, and he'd only have one share worth 100. Whereas this guy has shares that are worth money, and he's got to go with his railroads. He's got to try to save them. The Goldfield uh, Consolidated is not worth what his railways are, so he had to hold off anyway. There was no chance of him winning because he's facing somebody who actually has not just an equal certificate to what he has, but also holds another mine that is perfectly solvent and perfectly fine and fairly valuable. So he can pretty clearly say, I'm behind someone. All right, I'm going to wrap this, put it up. And then we'll start yet another turn, which may or may not be the last one.